Hi, Sherman. Good to see you again. Hey, Ted. Great to see you, man. Um, guys, you. I'm really excited about what we're doing today. As many of you probably know, Ted Thomas is America's tax lien certificate and tax deed authority. If you don't understand what those words mean, you definitely want to be a part of the session today. And if you do know what those words mean, tax lien, tax lien certificate, tax deeds, you know you need to be here because there's multiple ways to make serious money in this area. And I'm so glad that we've got the leading expert on it to sort of walk us through step by step, break it down, and tell us exactly how we're going to make money in tax liens and tax lien certificates and tax deeds. Ted. Okay, well, I'm, I'm ready to do. I'm ready to do just that. So just fire away. I, I saw the questions you prepared. So uh, yeah, I'll be yeah, ready we to answer we, them. Okay, we told we told people we we're going to be talking to you. So we asked them to send in some questions. I've got about five or six of them written down. Why don't we lead off with that? Um, first of all, you know, this is kind of an unusual business um, that most people really don't even know exists. Uh, and yet, what I learned from you, because we've known each other, oh my God, for. Poof, 20 years now. I mean, I was very, very fortunate when I was just getting started as a new investor to hear you speak at an event. And it was really an eye opener, uh, not only the way to sort of buy properties for pennies on the dollar, but also a way to have uh, a really uh, high impact, high, high return, uh, low, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, low effort investment in your self-directed IRAs and that kind of stuff. And so I, I know all this stuff because I've known you for 20 years now. Uh, I can I consider you not only to be a leading expert, but a really, really good friend, uh, somebody who I who I pick up the phone and call when I got questions from time to time. But for the person who's totally new to this topic of tax lien certificates and tax deeds, again, most people don't even know this world exists. T talk to us and, and sort of walk us through exactly what we're talking about here. OK, I'm happy to do that. So uh, for all you folks who are listening in, uh, welcome aboard because you're really going to enjoy this. So just kind of open up your mind and let a lot of information fall in. But uh, here's what tax liens and deeds are about. Every property in the United States, unless it's a school or a university or a church, is taxable. Well, uh, we know from, from life that life has problems. So sometimes people don't pay their tax. And uh, if they don't pay their tax on a continuous basis, well, the county is going to do something about that. So the legislature of the state, whether it would be Maryland or, or, or Florida or California, wherever, the legislature says, look, if you don't pay your tax, we can't run the county. So they authorize the treasurer to take some action if you, don't take, if you don't pay your taxes. Now, every property is taxable, and the taxes, generally speaking, are about 1%. Now, some say it's a little higher, but about 1% tax. And what happens is, if the people don't pay the tax, the state sends the state authorized the treasurer, so it's always coming from the county. So your local county is going to send you a notice, and they're going to say, we're well, going to slap your hand. You didn't pay the tax. So that means you're going to have to pay a fine. All right. So now in a place like Maryland, if you haven't paid your tax, what they're going to do is they're going to say, you didn't pay your tax. So we're going to sell a tax certificate. Now, a tax certificate is just a piece of paper like I'm holding up. That's all it is. Just a piece of paper like that. And they sell that and someone else could buy it and make a nice return. All right. Now, if they're over in Virginia, say Virginia would be a little bit different. Virginia said, now, wait a minute. We don't sell tax liens, but the Virginia tax collector still wants money. So they're not quite as benevolent as Maryland. Maryland's pretty benevolent. They say, well, if you don't pay your tax, we'll issue a certificate. So you don't get kicked out of the house if you have a tax certificate. But in Virginia, they say, whoa, if you don't pay your tax, we're going to confiscate your house. Whoa, this is really serious. All right. So anyway, everybody has to pay tax. And so there's tax lien certificates. Now, in Maryland, you can earn up to 24%. Here in Florida, you could earn 18%. Over in the West, now, if you're over there listening, you're in 16% in Arizona. You're kind of getting the idea. So these are powerful certificates. They're very, very safe. So if you're a new investor, brand new, this is the safest investment in America today. Why is it safe? Listen close. Because you can't invest with Ted. You can't invest with Sherman. You invest directly with the government. So now the government's going to hold your money. And what they do with your money is they basically pay the policemen, the firefighters. They're going to pay for the school teachers. And they're going to pay for the libraries. You're getting the idea. So the county has to pay all those bills. So a tax certificate and a tax deeds are available in all counties in the United States. Now, that was only about three minutes. So I didn't give you a whole big education, but you get the idea. So it's a safe, secure investment. So, so Ted, just for clarity's sake, because I got a couple people asking questions as we're going along. Um, we're talking about property taxes. We're not talking about federal taxes. We're not talking about sales taxes. We're talking about the taxes that are unique and specific to when you own a piece of property, the city and the county can charge you property taxes. 
Well, you're doing a better job than me, for goodness sake. I didn't even say that. For <laughs> sake. I'm supposed question. to be the expert. I got the Folks, cheat it's cheat. not a sales tax. It's not an excise tax. It's not an income tax. And you don't have to worry. It's just a property tax. And every property, you know what it really is? It's yeah. a wealth tax. Because mm. years ago, they thought anybody that owned real estate was wealthy. Got and it. so that was a big deal. So all they wanted the wealthy people to pay all the tax. Really? Well, now we all got wealthy. So now we all have to pay tax. It's called a property tax. Gotcha. How about that? So, so we can uh, we can elaborate uh, just, on some just of those other questions. Real quick. That, that if you like, I'd be happy to answer anything that comes to mind. Well, I, I want you to say this again because I, I, you know, I, you made a very important statement. I just want to make sure that everybody got it. You said that you can get up to twenty four percent rate of return by investing in these tax certificates. Absolutely. In the wow. state of Maryland, if yeah. you buy a tax lien certificate, now mm -hmm. they're going to sell them at the county level. So only you only buy these at county level. And the beauty okay. of what we're doing now is you can do this online. That's what I like. Before, okay. you had to travel there and do it. When I started, I used to have black hair and I was skinny. But, you know, what happens? Life happens. So, so right. now you can do it online. So in Maryland, if you raise your hand like this and you buy that certificate, they're going to give you this piece of paper to take home. Now, you're not going to get possession of the property. Okay. It's actually, it's there. You don't get possession. They right. let the people stay in there. They're very benevolent. They let them stay there. All right. But what you get is the rights to the property when you buy this certificate. And so you can earn up to 24% on that certificate. Now oh. it's an annualized rate of return. Sure. So basically that's about 2% a month. Okay. So if the person came in in six months and paid, you're only going to get 12%. But compare really? that with the bank, you know, banks pay 1%. So pretty good rate of returns. So yeah. that's how they do it. Now the states that are, are, are uh, what I call tax deed states like California, New York, and those places, what they do is they just confiscate the property and then they sell it for back taxes. So gotcha. that's a serious matter because now they've taken the property away. They actually evict, kick the person out, and then they sell the property for the back taxes. So, so this is an old system. It's been around for 200 years. So I didn't that, invent it or anything like that. Right. I've just for the last 25 years practiced tax lien certificates. So if you are in Maryland, or anybody could buy, buy in Maryland and they could do it from any state in the United States because we can do this all online. I have people that do it from the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. from Toronto, Canada. They yep. do it from Bangkok and Thailand. Wherever you have American money, you can do it. Gotcha. So, and you and you say that this happens at the county level. So that so all the counties in Maryland have some kind of a system for selling these certificates. Yeah, they all they all use the basic same system. But uh, in Maryland, is unique in this way that if you are over in Arundel County, they would have one rate of return. Whereas you go to Prince George's County, they might have another. Got so it. you really want to check because some of the counties only pay 12%, others pay 24. Got it. Like here in Florida, there's 67 counties. They mm. all have the same rate. They all have 18% rate. So you have to know a little bit about it and you have to study a little bit. I mean, it's not, it's not something you have to go to, you know, go get an MBA to do. It's just something that you have to study a little bit and know about the county you're going to buy in. Not got difficult. Got cool. Yeah. So, so, is, so that's kind of the basic process as to how these tax lien certificates work. You just go online and kind of find these things or- Well, well the best way to do it is, uh, let, me, let me reach behind you and get a newspaper. I'm just gonna get a newspaper and show you. Uh, um, uh, this, is, um, this is Duval County in Jacksonville, Florida. And yep. they have 32,000 certificates available in that county, 32,000. Wow. Now there's no, there's no any, pictures hey, of this Any newspaper. on Amelia Island? I'd love to get a house on Amelia Island for pennies on the dollar. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, absolutely. And it, wow. and it happens all the time. Mm. So, so you would find it in the newspaper, you can find tax lien certificates. But okay. if you knew, just go to Arundel County or go to Prince George's County, whatever county you wanted, yeah. and you could look. Now, that doesn't mean you should narrow your looking to just one county because okay. this is a big business. For example, mm -hmm. in Florida, in the month of May, there will be 1 million certificates available. One million, you pay 18% to the highest rate. Wow. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of certificates. <laughs> that's a so, lot of people didn't pay their tax, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So talk to us about what, what happens with the, with the tax defaulted property. How, how's, that, how's that work? Okay, so now over in Virginia, we call those, uh, so, so the United States, if you think of the whole United States, yeah. about half of the states will sell tax liens and the other half will sell tax deeds. So we used Maryland, that was our tax lien certificate state. So if you use Virginia, and Virginia doesn't use the same rules, and you guys are used to that because every time you go around the corner, there's another rule, right? right so right. sure enough, in Virginia, if you don't pay your taxes, 
they're going to send you a notice. That's called due process of law. They send it, they send it, they send it. If you don't pay the tax, the treasurer is authorized to confiscate the house hmm. or the property. It could be a ranch, a farm, it could be whatever, anything right. but a school. So they're going to confiscate it and then they're going to resell it because they don't want property. They want the tax money and right. they want that property on the tax roll. So right. if it was my property and I lost it, well, they want Sherman or one of you guys watching to buy it because they want it on the tax roll. That's how the government works. They want checks. So they start those auctions and you can go to these auctions online or offline. They start those auctions at very close to the back taxes because they want to collect the back taxes. Now in both cases, whether it's a tax lien or it's a tax deed, they wipe out the mortgage. The local government wipes the mortgage out. The oh. mortgage is gone. There is no mortgage on that property. It's been wiped out. Now that's the law in every county and every state in America, they wipe out. Now, I didn't say that they go and get that mortgage and tear it up. They don't do that. They just take it off the property right. records. The person that has the mortgage still owes it. But the security for the bank is gone. Wow. They wipe it out on every wow. single property. That mortgage is gone. So if you That's buy powerful. a tax certificate, because I mean, your, ta your you. taxes, your taxes could be four thousand dollars, but the mortgage could be two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Easy. Um, I buy. Uh, I buy all over the United States. Um, I'm buying properties okay. currently in uh, when they they in, in, in New York when they say upstate they mean like the Bronx. I don't mean that. I mean up the Hudson okay. River. You know, up in the where okay. there are beautiful trees and all that stuff. So I'm buying those right. properties. Now you can visualize this and all your people will be able to, a colonial. Think about a 3000 foot colonial. Now they're yeah. used and abused now, used and abused. All right, okay. with uh, 75 foot oak trees, four acres. I'm buying those properties at tax defaulted auctions, 30 cents on the dollar, 30 cents on the dollar. Now keep in mind, you gotta do some painting, touch them up, do whatever, but four right. acres, beautiful oak trees, all the rest of it. And so those properties are sold by the thousands. Now you think I'm exaggerating. All the auctions will come up in May in the state of New York. They will be yep. total for the whole state. I'm gonna estimate two or 3000 properties that they will sell just starting bid back taxes. People are shocked. <laughs> they can't believe it. I can show you a list of them. Let me show you a list. Nobody will believe this. Yeah. We're kind of going off your questions, but this is a list from Franklin County that's over by Syracuse. They'll send me this list. Uh, I got this off the internet before we had our class today. Shows you pictures of the yeah. property. Every property, wow. no, no mortgage. By the thousand. That is amazing. All right, now we're that offset. I'm just going to do one, and then we'll go back to you. I know you got questions you want to do. Sure. This is yeah. this is a Los Angeles auction that I attended. Okay. Yeah. Every every wow. page has about eight properties on it. They had. 2,000 properties, no mortgage, just in Los Angeles County. Not, wow. not California, just Los Angeles right, right, right. County. It's Los Angeles. Okay. I teach a class every Thursday night. Okay. We showed last night online. Lance is with me right now. He's in the studio with me. He showed San yeah. Diego County. You're not going to believe this. In San Diego County, I've never seen this in my life, but now COVID's over. This is a big right. time opportunity. San Diego County had... 737 properties for sale in one of the wealthiest counties in the United States. Mm -hmm. 737. They had the auction, 200 sold, 200 paid the taxes, and 200, there was no bidders. There's not really? enough bidders. I'm not making it up. I can take you to the website, but we didn't plan that today. But I'll do that in the class. I'm going to do a class pretty soon. Your people can come and I'll show them doing this. It was 700 yeah. properties in San Diego. Right. So now when this dude, auction started- I'd be, I would, dude, I'd be interested in that. I, is, is, now is La Jolla in San Diego County or is that a different county? Yeah, no, it's right, it's right up the street. It absolutely is. It's in San Diego County. It's, it's right up there by Del Mar. Absolutely, that's part of San Diego I'd, County. I'd be interested in anything in San Diego or, or, or La Jolla. Absolutely, well, yeah. And, I've been doing this, um, you, this, you is my 30th, this is my 30th year. And I have yeah. never seen properties like I'm seeing now because mm. you see that the counties would try to have a few auctions a year, but now they went a okay. whole year. The counties were basically shut down. So San Diego mm. had the auction. 
Sherman, this is hard for any investor to believe. There wasn't enough auctions. There wasn't enough people at the auction, and it was online. There wasn't enough people, buyers. They had 200 properties left over, nobody bid on. That's, that's just amazing. It's amazing. That's, this is nationwide. There's, this no, is nationwide. there's no we, such thing as a bad property in San Diego, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's definitely no such thing as a bad property in La Jolla. Yeah. <laughs> that is the, amazing. Th this, is, this is LA County Auction. They do it twice a year. I don't make wow. it up. Twice wow. a year. That, Unbelievable. That, okay, well. That's incredible. We're going to run out of time, actually, Sherman. I know, I know you're, you're not blessed with a lot of time today, but uh, let's do two or three or more of those questions, if you don't mind. Yeah, so... And, and what you're saying is the government will actually take people's houses if they don't pay the taxes in some places. More than half of the states in the United States are what I call a tax deed state. If you want okay. to buy a tax deed, a deed, as you know, is a transfer device. So I'm going to deed my property to you. I, I transfer it to you with a deed. Mm -hmm. When you go to a tax deed auction, you are buying directly from the county, not from Ted. I don't, you can't buy anything from me. I'm, right. a, I'm a teacher and I just teach people how to do it. Right. So the county... It's going to deed the property to you. So half of the states in the United States will sell tax deeds. Right. All right. Now, give me an example. So in Houston, Texas, for 30 years now, for 30 years, on the first Tuesday of every month, they will have 200 properties that they sell the tax deeds to. For 30 years. That's an... <laughs> You're talking about Houston County. Now, just so you know, Houston is Harris County. Right. The population is 6 million. Well, it's the fastest growing city in the world, although I don't know if you can technically call Houston a city anymore, but it's the yeah. fastest, part, it's the it, fastest it's, growing part of the world now, not just the United States, but the it's world. Like a, um, it, it's, it's, it's like its own state. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So 200 yeah. every single month. Now, now I, I once heard you say a, a while back that, that you could get started in this business for as little as 500 bucks. Is that still true today? Yes, it is, because there's going to be little slivers of land and little uh, lots and things like that. A person could buy one of those. That, remember, the county does not want this property Got because it. the property is not generating money. So the county, all they want to do it. So you can buy tax lien certificates for $500. Now, I didn't mention it enough, and I want to mention it to anybody that's brand new to this. Yep. You want to learn about tax liens, and I'm going to have a class coming up, and they can join that. But they want to learn it because when they raise their hand to buy this certificate, if they bought it in Maryland and it stayed outstanding all year and the person paid the last one, they would make 24%. But mm -hmm. people say, well, Ted, what if they don't pay me? Oh, what if they don't pay you? If they don't pay you on a tax certificate, you get the property without a mortgage. Without a mortgage. Okay. So I it's, will it's, show it's, the people in the class that you won't believe this. You know what I'm going to do? When we finish this video, I'm going to put a video on of two yeah. of my people in Phoenix. Okay. Now, you won't believe this, but it'll be on the video. Yeah. I will do a video. They bought a tax lien for 11000 Now, everybody, everybody's looking at us can find 11000 Do it on a credit card, for God's sake. Sure. All right, 11000 The people didn't pay them. They got a condominium. When you see this condominium, you'd move into it. Now, it's too small for you. I've been to your house. So it would fit in your kitchen, but it's a, uh, it's a vacation a, condo. <laughs> it's a 1500 foot condo. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 1500 foot. It's on a lake in Arizona. And if you're on a lake in Arizona, that's a big deal. Yeah. Tax assessed value. Uh, 189,000. Okay. 1500 square feet. That's nice. The people didn't pay the tax. And what's the it couple, really? couple young couple. I'm going to show a video when we finish young okay. couple. They sold the house. They had no experience in selling. She had Zillow sell the house. They put 169000 bucks in their pocket. One deal. 169000 No fix-up. No fix-up. No living in it. No nothing. They never went out there. She didn't get her fingernails broken painting. He didn't work all weekend painting and fixing. They bought it and sold it. So that's how good the tax lien certificate business can be. Mm -hmm. Now, that was a tax lien that didn't pay. But half of the states sell tax liens, half of them sell tax deeds. So I'm going to be quiet so you can do the other two questions. So I remember when I first heard you talking about this, and that's going back almost 20 years ago, one of the things that was sort of a, a negative, a little bit of a negative for me, was having to travel to all these counties and townships and 
you know, so, so fast forward 20 years, later, can we do this stuff online now? Can I literally do this from the comfort of my own home as opposed to having a... Well, a the, the world should, should change. And uh, I, I have to have all people around me that are really computer savvy. So in the room with me, I've got a guy that teaches my clients every Friday free. Yeah. You teach them every Friday. As a matter of fact, we have a class every day of the week. Every day of the week, we have a class from this. I think I copied that from you because you guys are doing all that in your, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I do a class every day. Now, everything is online if you want to be online. Nice. So all, I bought nine properties in New York a year and a half ago. Nice. Okay. I did it standing at a computer just like I am now. I bought them all online. At the same time, they had an auction going in the room. So the auctioneer takes bids in the room, takes bids online. Nice. So they can, everything. Now, there's a positive to that. You've got a lot of real estate people, and they know this. But, so there's a positive and a negative. Positive, it was easy. The negative is you don't want to buy a property unless you've seen it. Now, never mind those pictures and all that stuff. So you got to send someone there with a video camera or something. You know, you got to do it. I mean, you wouldn't marry the woman without seeing her. And she damn sure wouldn't marry hey, you. It's, been, it's been known to happen. <laughs> Russianbrides.com. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Right. Anyway, some guys would. <laughs> yeah, well, not me, not me. So you got the point. So the yeah, point. you can you can really do it online. That everything can be done online. That's nice. That's yeah. super. That that's a game changer, especially for yeah. me. That's, that's yeah, a, that's a game changer. So listen, we we don't have a lot uh, a lot of time left because I know you got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. But we're gonna do this again. Um, we got another training coming up. I think tomorrow. I have to double check the schedule, but we'll send out an announcement to everybody. Um, what, what do folks need to know, um, either in preparation for our next session or if they just want more information and, and uh, want to follow up and, and learn a little bit more about this topic? I would suggest you, uh, I'll put that up on the screen for you in just a minute, uh, uh, where they we, I'll, I'll close it out with that. And then I'll put that video on for them too. Excellent. But uh, definitely come back. We're going to do four of these. So yep. you guys come on back. We'll, we're trying, let's, let's do another recording today and then we'll come back and do a couple on the first of the week. Would that be okay? Yeah, that sounds like a game plan. Because I, I, right, I think people, this is a topic and it's a timely topic because this is kind of tax lien season in Maryland. And a lot of people are, their ears are perking up. They're like, hey, you know, the, 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 the cherry blossoms are popping and the counties are selling tax liens. How do I get in on the game? And, and again, you are the foremost authority on how to play this game, whether Thank you, you want to buy properties for pennies on the dollar or invest through your self-directed IRA and get those 24% rates of return. So yeah, we definitely need to do a couple more of these. But yeah, go ahead and show that video and we'll put the information up on the screen as to what folks need to do next. Okay, folks, come back. We're going to do a second one in just a few minutes, okay? But we'll see you soon. See you soon. This is life-changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and, and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not It's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turn to Ted, we turn to um, all his education, we turn to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. For we were in 11. it total for 11,000. Both of those. And we rented that magic. at 1225 for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was... Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account.